Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dana Perez. If you're new here, I am a full-time content creator based in New York City. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my New York City apartment. And before I get into the tour, I just want to kind of tell you about the building that I live in and where I live in New York City. So I live in Midtown Manhattan, which is basically in the middle of all the hustle and bustle. And, and this is a walk-up building, so there is no elevator, no doorman. This is kind of just like your regular walk-up tenement style apartment. And I live in technically a studio apartment. I say technically because there are no doors that separate the spaces, but it is a super, super long apartment, railroad style. So it's bigger than my two bedroom that I had in the East Village. If you want to check out my old apartment tour, I will leave it here. So without further ado, we're gonna go get into the tour. Welcome to my apartment. Come on in. So when you first enter the apartment, you enter into this like foyer space, I like to call it. It has amazing closet space, which is why I love this apartment. There are three full-size closets. And for this space, I just want it to be comfortable and cozy, a place to put on your shoes, hang your jacket, hang your hats, and your bags. So to do that, I just I added in this bamboo hook where you can hang your hats and your jacket and things. And I added in this bench from Target where I can sit and put on my shoes. And of course, to make the space even more cozy, I added in this rug. And surprisingly, this rug makes the space feel huge. So in the front closet, I like to keep my winter coats and basically random beauty products in here. But one feature that I really want to show you, which will save you so much space if you like to organize your closet, is this hanging device from Amazon. You can basically just put all of your cleaning supplies on it, like tall brooms and things that just like fall over in your closet. It is seriously a space saver. And right off the entry is where the bathroom is. Honestly, it's nothing special. Here's where the bathroom is. I did install a really nice hand towel from Amazon. And to keep the space looking really spacious, I added in a floor to ceiling mirror. I mounted it on the wall. So when you're leaving your apartment, you can always check yourself in the mirror to see how you look. There is another foyer space where you can kind of put all of your things. So I added in a console table and basically just decor elements that I made that make the space feel a bit more designed. And then I also painted these canvases right here. And by the way, these pompous grass are from Etsy and I will link them down below as well as everything that I'm mentioning in this video. And then this vase was a fun DIY project. I'll send you help me paint this. And there is a similar vase at Pottery Barn if you're interested in that. But to decorate a console table, I like to add coffee table books, a lamp, some candles, my favorite, favorite reed diffuser from Nest Fragrances. This is the Moroccan Amber reed diffuser. It is amazing, you have to go smell it. And yeah, this is my little foyer space. And in this space, we have another closet, which is amazing to put your stuff away in storage. Once you enter through the apartment, you have in this Eden kitchen, which is a really amazing space. So I basically decorated this from start to finish. I have a full YouTube video on that if you wanna see the whole design process. Quickly, this is an Eden kitchen, which is pretty rare for a studio style apartment. I wanted to create a really cozy space. So first I added in this table from Target and then I put in some two chairs and a bench also from Target. Of course, we have a round mirror, which really opens up the space. I painted an accent wall that's really dark blue. It adds a lot of color and interest to the space as well. Then I put in this chandelier. This is from Ikea. This is a faux olive tree. It's from Near the Natural. I will leave it linked. This tree is seriously like so real. If you're looking for a cool tree, here it is. And then this is my kitchen space. I was so thankful for all of the cabinets in this space. Before there was like the most ugly cabinet poles. So I found these on Amazon. They are brass cabinet poles and it makes the space just feel so much more designed. This is just basically the kitchen space. I like to keep out my cutting boards because I use them a lot. I have my olive oil, a little basket filled with all of my utensils, and then I keep out my coffee maker, Dutch oven, and yeah, this is basically my kitchen space. It is a galley kitchen, everything is on one end, and you can eat in in the same room, which I absolutely love having this big space to make food because I do cook a lot at home. Next room, which is the living room. This space is quite small compared to your typical living room. So the first challenge was to find a sofa that fit in this little cubby. And we found the sofa, it's from Castillery. 
and it is a sectional sofa which it basically frames this room so perfectly then i added in this rug from laloy and this white coffee table is my absolute favorite it's from cb2 it is a cement coffee table i love the white color it really brightens up the space and then for art, um, El Senio and I, we painted this together for a fun DIY project. And then to accessorize, I added in some pillows. These are from H&M Home. I'm obsessed with their pillows. You can buy the feather insert. They're like, it's like $10. And then every season they come out with different pillow covers, which is really fun to collect and change up the look of your space depending on the season. So this is like my winter Christmas pillows. And because this space is pretty narrow, I did not have room for a console. So we just mounted the TV and I mounted a sound bar and we hid the cords with a cord cover. So it looks really seamless in the space. I added in some floor to ceiling curtains. These are from Ikea and the curtain rod is from Amazon. And by the way, I have a full living room tour on my YouTube channel already if you want even more details about each individual decor piece. Pretty much everything will be linked down below in the description box if you're interested in some furniture pieces. And I cannot forget to mention my amazing side chair from West Elm. I love how the leather brings in this like rustic look to the space. It brings in some more natural colors. And this lamp is from Lamps Plus. This is like a pharmacy lamp. And yeah, that is my living room space. It's super cozy. So off of the living room, I have a blank wall. I added in this wall tapestry. This is from Marshalls and it was only 25 bucks. And it pretty much makes a statement on this plain wall. And I found this stool at TJ Maxx just to bring in kind of like a decor element over here. And then right off of the living room, I have my office space. So basically I just have my office desk, office chair. This is like the most comfortable chair. It is from Laura Davidson. You can find it on Amazon. And I honestly could work in this chair all day long. It is so comfortable. So if you do work from home, it also comes in different colors. If you don't want black, it comes in white, it comes in brown leather. So if you're on the market for a really comfortable office chair, this one's amazing. This desk is from Target. And yeah, this is basically where I work. I have my notebooks here, my computer. I keep my makeup storage right next to me. And to add some more interest to this wall, I added in these shelves. These are from Amazon. The pack actually comes with two shelves. So I wanted just one long shelf and I put them as close together as possible. And then I bought these frames from Target mostly. I love the frames with a lot of matting. I feel like it makes the photo look really expensive. And these are all photos that I took on my travels. So it really brings back great memories. And if you want to print out your own photos, you can go on like Walgreens and the eight by tens were like, I think $6 a print, which is really affordable if you wanna print out your own art, or your own photos and frame them. I also picked out a matte finish so it makes it even look more expensive. The only one that was pretty pricey was this one. I believe it was around like I would say 30 to 40 dollars to print because it was such a big size. And then this way is my bedroom. So again I do have a video on this on my YouTube channel if you want more details of each individual piece. I did change out some things so this is more updated. So this is the bedroom space. First, I have my headboard and nightstands are from West Elm. I love the wood headboard in this space. I feel like it gives it a really, really pretty design. And the white nightstands from West Elm. One of my favorite features about this whole room is this carpet from Laloy. It adds such a fun, cool bohemian vibe. It's like different levels of pile height and it's just so cool. And one of the new things that I did add in the room are these lamps. These are from Target and this lamp is so, so beautiful. I love the rib texture on it and the scale of these are much bigger than the ones I had before. So it fits the room much better. And this coverlet is from H&M Home. This color is like my favorite color of a nude. It's like perfect for the space. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's kind of like right in the middle and you can find this online. And the mattress that I have, I know I'm really big about sleeping well. It is a Nectar mattress. And honestly, if you're looking for a comfortable mattress, check them out. I will also leave that video linked if you want to learn more about Nectar. Amazing, amazing mattress. And to add a bit of color, I added in an accent pillow right in the middle. And this art is from Home Goods. 
I have not seen it since I bought it, so you'd be really lucky if you found it. But basically, it's just a really pretty white art picture. And then I have a simple dresser in my room with my plants on top of it. I have had these plants for I think like five years now, so they come with me to every apartment. I also have these floor to ceiling curtains from Ikea. So that pretty much sums up my bedroom space. So there you have my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed walking through all the spaces with me. Let me know down below what is your favorite room. And if you have any questions about some pieces that you saw and I didn't link, let me know in the description box and I will be sure to let you know where it's from. And with that, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.